Welcome back to Under Oath. Original murder. You know, people love murder. I'm not a big fan of murder. <laughs> Just not. Everyone's so interested in murder now. Unless it's their own. And then people are like, oh, that seems a little unfair. Yeah. Now, we've done some cases before where, you know, not on the level of murder. We've done felony murder. We've done some minor murder cases when we first started our careers before. Well, felony murder is is when when people die be, during the course of a felony. Yeah, we, we haven't had a case where somebody specifically targets someone and then kills them on purpose. That's what I said. We've never done that. Okay. All right? And the fact is, normally, to handle a murder case, you have to be especially qualified because if the death penalty is on the table, you can't represent somebody unless somebody's death penalty qualified. That's true in Florida. I don't know if that's true in other states. Well, since we're in Florida, I think I'm good. Now let's cover the case the, that we're getting ready to talk about. Now let's get to the case I'm right about to talk about, which has Florida. nothing to do is it with Florida really case? the murder of the case. Is it a Florida case? Um, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> two teenage girls, Abigail Williams and Liberty German, wind up missing. 13 to, and 14 year old girls. Yes. So. They go to the scene. This has happened in 2017. Police go to the scene. They do a proper investigation. They take pictures, everything else like that. They get the guy. The amount of evidence they had is inconsequential. The issue was this is that the judge in the case, after somebody said, hey, listen, we probably need to keep this silent, they put a gag order on it. Said, you can't release any of the pictures. You can't put any of the evidence out there. You know, this is, you know, we don't want to negatively affect it, the client, the defendant, or the case itself, or get taint the jury. They do this. Weird thing happens. The attorney for the defendant, an associate of his, for some reason, puts this evidence out there. Leaks it. Why? Uh, I have a theory. Go ahead. I have a theory. The... They were very upset that these girls were murdered. And you think he was flopping on his own client? Sabotaged his own client. His it partner's might, client. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Might have sabotaged him just to make sure that he didn't get away with it. You know what I mean? Uh, do you and I both why, know? why else would you why else would you leak photos? I mean, these these photos, let's see. Uh, the guy was an Odinist, right? That's what the the is report that like I'm says. into like Greek gods? Yeah, yeah, like he, they worship Odin, whatever. And there was pagan symbols in blood on trees near where they found the bodies, right? So making it look like it could have been a, a sacrifice. And this is stuff that would have been allowed to come in probably at trial for motivation, right? Right. Why why this guy would leak it? The, this guy who supposedly is supposed to represent the defendant. What other reason could he have to leak it, Jeff? Unless he thought the evidence was actually good that could help the client. I well, don't know how, but... He's, try, he's trying to rally the Odinists in that know. community maybe, maybe around to, his guy? Maybe to say, get out there and say, well, see, this evidence isn't as what they think it is, or maybe it wasn't as bad as what they thought it was. But here's the th issue. I'm not associated with the case. I'm associated with an attorney in the case... That's what? that's being associated with the case. Yeah, but what can what can they do to me? This is the defense. They can't keep the evidence out. So what do they do to the defense? Penalize them money? Jail? Well, the only thing you can do as a judge when someone violates your court order is to sanction them somewhat. Exactly. That's what I mean. So, so what kind of sanctions? I don't know. If uh if the judge really thinks that this guy leaked the photos to sabotage the case, then I think one of the sanctions could be that nobody can use these photos. No way. You cannot. His side did it. You can't penalize the prosecution no, for that. You can't say his side did it if his side is interested in him getting persecuted and convicted. That's not his side anymore. Oh, oh so you're saying somebody on the defense could sacrifice them to benefit the client? That The prosecution is going to say, we didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, and, that, and that, that's what would make this tough and interesting because it wasn't the prosecution's fault. They didn't do anything to deserve to have part of their evidence taken away. So what's what's more important than Jeff the the defendant's right to a fair trial in that community, justice, or or the prosecution's ability to prove their case? No, I don't think in a situation where the prosecution did absolutely nothing wrong that they they're going to get penalized for it. Especially in you and I both know that judges tend to sympathize depending on the community 
to the prosecution. You know, they need the state attorney or the head prosecutor's, how can I say it, endorsement to get reelected. <laughs> well, it depends on where. That's what I'm it depends, outside of it New depends York, on where. But even New York can be tough. But I mean, you know, in Florida, you need, you really do need the. Uh, do we want fair trials? You Is that what we want? Your, t- your own team can't do something that benefits you. That's not right. But That's you're, not fair. But you're using that phrase, your own team. It was your team. Your attorney sabotaged They you. were assigned to you. That doesn't mean they're on your no, side. No, no. This is a regular firm. This isn't the PDs. He hired this guy. Well, the associate had nothing to do with it. The associate works for a particular law firm. Yes. They take on cases. He didn't sign I up for the case. I felt bad for the client, or I wanted to do He this. felt bad for the victims. Yeah, I don't know. He wanted his firm's client to be convicted. There's no other explanation and, and let me for quick. leaking those photos. Don't you have to show that it caused damage to the jury pool itself? Well, yeah, that's that's that, that's one of the things that you argue when you yeah. when you ask for the sanction. I mean, pictures come out all the time. Grizzly murders come out all the time. But here's the thing that throws me, because when an attorney does something like this, I'm thinking beyond that. I think if I'm the prosecutor, I go, I go. First off, he violated contempt order, so the sanction should be what? I honestly think he needs to be reported to the bar, which at, at whatever he's working at, I think he should be suspended from the bar for doing something like that. Yeah, whoever leaked the photos can never have a career in the law, right? I mean, you agree yeah, with that? Yeah. So the associate's out. Now, here's the hard but thing. But the prosecution can still prove their case. They have video on the, they the girl's phone. They should lose evidence. They oh, should lose their evidence. Let me finish. They have, they have video of the guy on one of their phones. They have a 40 caliber round uh, near the bodies that was fired from the gun they found on the defendant. He's I, heard on the cell phone footage saying, "What well, uh, guys, down the hill. That's, he's heard saying that. So they have enough evidence without these symbols being carved into the tree. I don't know what they're going to keep out or what they actually, the, the totality of it. But I think anything that might be kept out that could keep justice from happening is a mistake. What's now, justice? Is justice a fair trial or is justice just, conviction no matter what? No, I didn't say conviction no matter what. But in this case, I don't feel too bad for this dude. No, that's the problem. No one feels bad for a murderer. You know, but, so, but if you're going to adhere to a city, if we're going to have laws and we're going to enforce them and we're going to apply them neutrally, then even the most despicable among us, including people that murder other people, do they? Is this just a show trial? Or no, do, or is it's it a, a real cul- trial? It's a culmination of evidence, and you're taking out a big piece of evidence that actually shows motive. You know, this guy did it because of his religious purposes. But your argument you're taking is, motive out of it. Your argument is that that certain evidence shouldn't be suppressed, even though it was leaked in violation of a court order. And even though it wasn't the prosecution's fault, I get it. It wasn't the prosecution's fault. But what is a judge supposed to do? He's supposed to look at it and say to himself, okay, can I fix the jury? Can I explain it? They're going to see it anyway. They're going to see the evidence anyway. Not necessarily. Okay. I did a trial, for example. I did the Tigger trial. And there, every channel, there was a fake Tigger. There was some guy taking a picture of Tigger doing something weird in the park, and it Clearly wasn't my client, but it was happening all the time. So everyone thinks, oh, look, at your client's going nuts and all these shows and all these news things and everything else like that. And the fact is this, it's very unusual for judges to go, okay, we're going to ban all conferences with the press or whatever. It's unfair. But in the end. But you know, they the, do it, Jeff. They do it. But when they the do judge it. does it, the judges make a, a sober decision about, hey, this – we can't taint the jury pool with this type of evidence. I don't want it out there. I'm ordering that no one release it. Somebody releases it. And the penalty goes to the side that releases it normally. That's what I'm saying. You can't that's penalize what, that's the side why that did nothing. Case, that's why we're talking about this case, No, we're though. talking about because I think this lawyer – here's my problem. The reason why I, I, I like talking about this case is as a criminal defense attorney, you don't get to allow yourself to choose how you feel. You do your job. And you and no I, one's, no one's arguing that. Point now, there. now here's the point. This guy at this guy's firm might have been a criminal defense attorney. He might not have been. I don't know. But the fact is this: 
My partner's representing somebody. I know the rules. Every attorney knows the rules. So this jerk off, for some reason, goes out of his way to do this crappy thing. And the fact and that- And does what? Arguably does what? I don't know. Deprives but the I don't defendant know why he did it. of a fair Unless I trial. know that's the point he did it. And that's one piece of evidence we don't have, why he did it. And that damages. Does that matter why he did it? Yes. Because if he did to help him- If, if- if you'll grant me that it caused an unfair trial, what? who cares what know. the motive was? What if the unfair trial is to the prosecution? No one no one says that the prosecution is entitled to a fair trial. A defendant is entitled okay. to a fair trial. If both of but us are- As a matter are, of fact, the us, cards are stacked against the prosecution. If both of us are entitled to do the same contempt order and one side violates it and it violates their benefit, the prosecution can be you know, taken advantage of too. There are times that they're- Yeah, evidence. that's the argument for the prosecutor to say, hey, listen, this wasn't leaked from our side. The, def quote, defense attorneys leaked it. We shouldn't be punished. It shouldn't count against us. But that's not the judge's decision. The judge's decision is, what do I do to ensure a fair trial? Obviously, I thought a fair trial required that these items not be released. And what happened? The items were released. It doesn't matter now who You don't think there's it. a fairness to the prosecution? What do you mean? You don't think there's fairness on his side that that he, he should be able to try his best case? Yeah, the fairness to the prosecution is secondary to the fairness of the trial. I don't, for the know, I don't know about that. That's what that's what our law I, is. I don't. Jeff. I don't. I don't believe that. I think there are certain issues, situations. You don't believe that. I know that the prosecution benefits in certain ways, and that any time either party screws up, they pay. A differently. fair trial for the defendant is the penultimate consideration for a criminal case. I've seen judges. That's the Constitution. I've seen judges. What Constitution? The Florida, the federal Constitution. What, which Constitution? Well, uh, the of, Alabama Constitution. We know that's fair great. Trial. Fair trial. Or the trial. Tennessee process. <laughs> you know, when you're talking about certain cases, you know, it's the community that decides. You know, you and I have both been in very and they conservative can, counties they where, can get the remember this one? We all know who we're talking about, Mr. Coffin. They can get, <laughs> I remember that trial. <laughs> they can get the conviction, though, without We don't know that. that. Particular and imagine evidence. that piece doesn't come in. That's motive. That's the motive part of the conviction, that he did it because of, for his religious reasons. You pull motive off the table. That's a huge thing to pull off.